Kenny, you're not one to dwell on a good victory, so uh, surely you're not going to dwell on a setback last weekend? No, definitely not. And, and But I didn't think that we created enough in terms of uh, clear-cut chances or shots. Too long for us to, uh, to get a shot in. Um, I didn't think that uh, in terms of our competition it was quite right, uh, particularly in their box. And um, uh, it, in the end, Blackpool could do a job on us and it looked like it was sort of falling away to a nil-nil draw. But uh, they've got the one sort of bit of quality through long that, um, that has counted. And many times that's been us as well. So, you know, we need to address that. We need to make sure we, you know, we don't brush it under the carpet. We know where we're going and what we need to improve on. But, but after that, don't lose any tempo, don't lose any heart from it. And uh, uh, again, look forward positively and uh, to a very good game at Oxford as well. On another day, would you have played it in a slightly different way? Yeah, maybe. And, you know, you're obviously looking at, um, uh, you know, uh, 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 Ben Thompson going back and and how to fill that one. But, you know, I had every confidence in Gareth Evans as well. He's been a very, very good player uh, for us. And that, that's not going to change going forward. Oxford, um, not having the best of times, but as always, you'll be wary. Of course, and, and big club Oxford and... You know, every pre-season, I fancy to do very well, and you know they have good players and and you know a good manager, so they'll be wanting to get themselves a, a very good home record away from the relegation places, and and, and uh, a team we respect and are very capable. You brought in Bryn Morris. Is he likely to play a part, and how does he fit into the jigsaw? Yeah, uh, Andy Cannon's was a you know good substitute appearance, and for for both lads anyway, they'll need time to. Uh, get to know our ways, our system, and to bed in as well. And um, they're both doing that, working hard in training, making sure that uh, they're available for the games. Uh, you know, I would suggest over the next two weeks, where we ha we have we have cup games, we have check trade cup games. For, uh, a week on Tuesday, we have Luton away, so there'll be plenty of time for for, for both new lads, I'm sure, uh, to to state their claim to a first team shirt. You, in your own mind, know what your side will be on Saturday. Yeah, definitely. And and in terms of of our team, you know, we're obviously working and then talking to people during the course of the week, and and it it, it comes to a head. Then you know, I'm sure with most clubs, and it does with me, at the the back end of the week where you know you, you your video work and then your training on a, a Thursday stroke Friday reflects the team and um, what, what you're going to do. Uh, um, you know, for, for myself, so far this season, I've been in a very good position of being able to be you know, very consistent with my team selection because you know, up to you know, a certain point, we've had very few injuries and a successful team. You've lost Andre Green, who's gone back to Aston Villa. Is that a blow to you? Yeah, obviously this, this happens with, with the loans. And uh, you do know, although there's a there's a commitment to a season-long loan, there is a recall at January that's been that's been exercised, you know, by by Millwall with Thompson and by Villa with Green, and and we're thankful for for blo both clubs for for lending us their players. We you know we we wish Andre all the best. He, you know, got f five goals in different competitions and and some vital ones as well. He goes back to Villa now, and really it's about the boys that are here. It's about us, you know, being as strong as we can. Uh, during the course of this this window and um, uh, making sure that we come out of it uh, uh, having replaced if we can. Do you hold on to any hope that either might return? The door's open definitely because obviously with the the, uh, um, the the fact that you can only play for two clubs during the course of the season both p players have represented us so we'd be aware of that rule but no we're not we're not necessarily expecting that uh, the door's open if you know if they do want to come back or, or or you know most importantly the parent club want to send them back but um you know after that we have to get on and you know make sure we work with our own players and and you know don't don't ever be in a situation where we rely on loan players definitely your own players are Craig McGillivray and Jack Watmore both signed extensions to their contracts yeah pleased with that very very pleased for Craig you know coming in he 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 came in in the summer wanting to have a chance at establishing himself as a number one at 25 years old. I thought he was ready, and and obviously then his contractual situation has has reflected that. He's he's, he's um, at the moment uh, made the, the jersey his own, and um, we're pleased to extend his contract longer because we do feel as well. While he's a good keeper now, he has a very good future as well. Uh, a consistent keeper, consistent person, uh, which is good for Jack. Uh, that you know everybody knows Jack Watmore's a good enough player. Um, we've just been waiting during the course of this season, obviously because of his injury record. But um, you know we're pleased that 
he's, he's played so many games. We do feel he's in a, a good place in terms of his fitness and looking after himself. And we're quite happy now, you know, as we just turn into the new year to, 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 to back him and, you know, delighted it's been done so quickly and, and extended his stay further. He's had a good season so far and, it, and he can build on uh, what he's done now. You are tying together there the nucleus of a side, really, aren't you? Yeah, we are. And we're always aware and, you know, looking to try to improve all of the time, but you should never. Yeah, um, uh, look outside either too much you know you have to work with and and encourage the players that you have particularly the ones that, are, that have done well for you and then after that the ones that you have confidence in the future finally touch wood should he make it Matt Clark will play his 150th game on Saturday which is not bad going it's, it's terrific for somebody of his age and, and you know in that position uh, that's you know it's a vital thing and and you know whatever whatever age you are you are looking to build and and improve with league games and Matt's been a good example of that